Hello. In this video, we want to talk about the thermal map for glider pilots, which is intended uh, for flatland areas and for low mountain ranges. Here you see the map in the current stage. You see there's many parts of Europe are already implemented, but uh, lots of parts are missing. And with the help of Google Earth, it's very easy. It's a question of minutes to enter new thermal areas and which uh, can be provided for other glider pilots as well. So the goal is if you are a pilot who knows an area very well, like uh, for 10 or 20 years, you know where thermal is very good and where in which areas uh, the, it's more difficult to fly from the thermal point of view, then we can enter these spaces here in this map. For example, the blue area is a bad thermal area because there's lots of humidity in the ground. And then we have these green uh, areas where the thermal is very good. Yeah, and in this video we want to talk about how the project works, uh, which sources have been used up to now, and then how you can very easily contribute and share your knowledge about thermal areas. Okay, the project web page is uh, this here. Um, here you find uh, all the information. By clicking on this picture you get to the G Google Ma uh, Maps uh, map. And here, down here, you find the, the legend. It works like this, that uh, we would like to use the air spaces of the devices for storing this uh, thermal information. So airspace E is used for, uh, for good thermal areas and airspace B for bad areas. The reason is that in most European countries, airspace A and B are not used. But it's if you are living in a country uh, where it's uh, being used, then we can change this to another airspace. Here, as you see, the, the field areas are here green, very good. And then where we have only the edges, that is just good. And for the red areas, there it's the uh, same way. Filled uh, blue airspace area is uh, very bad. And then just the edges is just bad. There's also an extension for waves depending on wind speed and wind direction, and therefore we use airspace echo. Okay, we have uh, up to now, um, there are many uh, people who uh, contributed to this uh, thermal map. For example, here we have the maps of Janusz Czentka uh, from Poland, and here is the initial map from Carsten Lindemann, who is a meteorologist uh, living and flying south of Berlin. And uh, this map was generated for the World Lighting Championship in 2008 in Lissa. And you see uh, Carsten made these, he's, here the red uh, areas are very good ones and the blue ones are very bad. Yeah, and I wrote a program uh, 10 years ago to, to transfer this map to the, our devices for airspace A and B in the digital format. Yeah, and now we want to talk about how you can share also your knowledge. Let's go to googleearth.com uh, google.com slash earth and then we started. You can also use the desktop version of Google Earth. It uh, works pretty much the same way. And the nice thing about Google Earth is that we have a satellite picture and we see all the, the forests and the fields and um, <coughs> the rivers and we can very good um, put the details of the, of the edges uh, into the map. Okay, let's uh, start a project here. Uh, it's a project uh, and we can say we want to have a new project here. And we have many options and we, we choose a project from KML file. Click on that and then we name it my thermal map. You can call it whatever you like. And then we have here this button. Here it's German, but basically in English it says a uh, uh, new element. And then we have a line or form. And we click on that. And then we can draw into the map and uh, can export this later as an airspace for use in our devices. So basically, let's, let's take this example here. This forest, it's called Annaburger Heide. It's uh, well known for very good thermals. And the 
is just an example. So let's name it A for airspace A, like good samples, and we name it Anna Burger Heide, and say that. And now we can enter and then the next S uh, sample space, like we click on new element, form, and then this is an area which is very bad as a river and there's lots of humidity. Just an example, so like this. And we call that B for airspace B or bad. And then uh, this uh, area is called as der hour. Okay, and now we save that and now we have our second thermal space here in this map. For convenience, we can uh, give them colors, like we click on them, click edit, and this is a bad area, so we make it blue. And then here, this is a good area, we click on the pen here and make it green. And now we have two sample spaces in our map, and this was very quick, so it's uh, very easy to do. And in the legend, we saw that these areas where, where we have everything filled is uh, very good or very bad. And we can also make edges to point out that this area uh, might be only just good. And let's, uh, let's do that in an example here. For example, uh, in this area, it's like this, this, the very good sample is on this side here. Uh, and on this, the, uh, the rest of the forest is, is just uh, good. Let's, let's say it, let's put it this way in this example. So basically we can extend it here. Yeah. And we just uh, make an, an edge here. So that's it. Uh, that was simple. And uh, now we are ready with our two thermal spaces. And now we can uh, export them. Here, if you click on these dots, you can uh, select export as KML. Now we, download, we have uh, this KML file in our downloads folder. And the only thing we need to do now is to send it to gliding hotspots here, dot contact. And here is the email address, info at lightinghotspots.eu. And if you send it uh, to me, then I will implement it in the entire map. And for example, if you are uh, uh, living at a place or know a place very well where, where we have already an airspace like this, this is a low, low, low detail. I would really like to improve uh, uh, this. Then you can enter your details good and, therm and bad thermal areas and then uh, we will replace this with some more detailed data. Um, yeah, and that's it. And in the end, uh, people can download it. Um, here the, uh, the airspace format and also uh, I need to put it up here, the Google Earth format. It's missing here in the English version, but I will fix it uh, very soon. Okay, and also if you are using Xesua uh, flight software, there's a download uh, uh, manager where you can also download uh, the thermal maps .eu in, in within the app. Okay, I hope you liked it and I hope that you uh, find some time to share your knowledge. Uh, many glider pilots will appreciate it and the good thing about this thing is this will, the data will not change in the next 20 or 50 years, so data we have in this map will be valid in 50 years as well, and uh, other glider pilots, which are not even born yet, can, uh, can benefit from that. So that's a nice, nice view on, on this project. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Hope to see you in the air. Bye.